So today's topic is very close to my heart, is how can high school students prepare for a career in architecture? It's personal for me because I pursued architectural engineering as my undergraduate degree and my passion was drawing and aesthetics and I really had a very good time uh, the four years that I studied architectural engineering. So stay tuned. everyone, Jyotsna here and my students call me Coach Jo. I'm an independent educational consultant and a college planner and I help teens reach their maximum potential. Welcome to Gifted Gapper's college planning series where I share different strategies and techniques that you as a parent or if you're a high school student can implement in your college journey. So today's topic is very close to my heart, is how can high school students prepare for a career in architecture? It's personal for me because I pursued architectural engineering as my undergraduate degree. And my passion was drawing and aesthetics and I really had a very good time uh, the four years that I studied architectural engineering. So today, we're gonna learn about what it takes to pursue a degree in architecture. So as you can see, an architect is a designer, right? He designs houses, stores, there are so many flavors of architecture that you can pursue. So what are the characteristics that an architect needs to possess? Number one, critical thinking. Number two, problem solving. Good mathematical skills aesthetics, an eye for art, an eye for design, and also good communication and presentation skills. These are some of the things that an architect needs to possess, right? So it's a very good combination of aesthetics, design, mathematics, and it's fairly interesting. So students who like uh, the finer details of things like the design, who like to go visit historical monuments, uh, modern architecture, museums and all those exciting things a career in architecture is for you so I'm gonna let you know what things you can do right from the high school to pursue a degree in architecture so what does an architect do right so that's a question on all of our minds an architect designs things but it doesn't his role doesn't stop there he has to bring his design to fruition right so he's got to be a project manager like manage the project from start to finish right oversee a project so an architect is also a project manager so once the project is done then there are other things that come into it like uh, presenting it interior design so there are so many flavors and uh, fields that you can pursue within architecture. You can pursue interior design or uh, drawing diagrams to plan a house. There are so many things that an architect does. And also you've got to be versatile. You've got to have an eye for uh, finer details and designing. So how do you prepare for architecture in the high school? by picking courses that are relevant to that field right so number one is math you need to make sure that you master concepts in geometry trigonometry calculus statistics so it's a good idea to um, focus on a lot of mathematical uh, ap's that are out there uh, ap statistics uh, ap calculus ab calculus bc and also a lot of undergraduate uh, architecture degrees emphasize on physics, right? So understanding the concepts of compression, structures, and everything helps as well. There are many AP courses uh, in physics that uh, you can focus on. And also uh, do keep in mind to create a college list, right? So college list is the key to 
preparing your profile so what are the kind of uh, colleges that offer architectural degree that you're trying to pursue and look at their requirements so most of the undergrad architecture degrees require four years of math and physics of some kind and they also need an art portfolio which I'm going to explain uh, shortly so make sure that you align your courses with the college uh, requirements next a lot of colleges ask for a portfolio uh, a portfolio where it could be either uh, your interest in art uh, or could be some craft photography sculpture drawing anything that is art related a lot of architecture uh, schools uh, want to look for your portfolio and your progress in drawing yes uh, you have to be a good artist uh, a good uh, hand on drawing and a good aesthetic sense to be uh, an architect so what are some of the art courses that you can take in high school there is definitely 2d art AP that you can pursue um, or 3d art uh, there is also AP drawing uh, that uh, you can do and also it might be a good idea to uh, follow an apprenticeship with uh, an artist you can a uh, shadow an architect uh, you can take a summer job uh, in an architecture firm right and practice drafting and drawing like uh, enhance your artistic ability in high school like look for opportunities uh, look for competitions that uh, like push you to try out your artist in you right so it is a very interesting field to be in it's a mixture of art math science and business right so you've got to be good at math as well and science especially physics uh, to pursue a degree in architecture so it's a good idea to visit uh, museums like check out uh, different uh, historical structures or monuments and get a sense uh, like sort of do a lot of research in what kind of architecture that you can pursue also it might help to uh, do a specific research on an area of architecture that you're passionate about uh, go into deeper depths so that uh, you can show uh, colleges that you're really interested in pursuing a degree in architecture so it's always good to build a profile so uh, it's never too early to start building a profile uh, looking for opportunities also there are a lot of summer courses that you can participate in uh, Cornell has a wonderful uh, six-week uh, summer program that uh, <clears throat> encourages student to uh, like try out different things that an architect does in a studio that's a very good uh, uh, program to pursue and also Frank Lloyd Wright uh, has a program uh, for students who want to try architecture so there are so many avenues to pursue and build and follow your passion uh, when it comes to architecture summers of the high school years are very critical when it comes to <clears throat> preparing uh, for a degree in architecture it's, it's a very good idea to pursue a lot of summer programs that are offered uh, either by Cornell, which has a six week program. Uh, Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright uh, Tallison in Wisconsin offers a program. UNC offers a, a wonderful program. Uh, UPenn uh, has an architecture summer program that's wonderful. UCLA has uh, a program that is uh, great. Uh, right and Tulane also has a great program so there's a long list that I can share if you reach out to me <clears throat> uh, that your high school student can pursue in summer 
and also summer apprenticeships uh, with uh, architects is uh, a wonderful uh, plan to have for summer so summers are like extremely critical if you want to pursue a degree in architecture that's where you show your real life skills and passion and it helps you build uh, a portfolio for applying for a five-year degree in architecture here are some related activities and experiences that a high school student can do during uh, their time and prepare for uh, a degree in architecture. Number one, read. Uh, read about architecture. There are so many wonderful books that are out there. Like go to your library, uh, look at the structures, read uh, about famous architects, Lee Corbusier, Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh, if you're interested in modern architecture, read about it, history, everything, like read. Uh, explore uh, that is out there if you can't really go and travel that's all right read a lot of books number two draw I would say always keep a sketchbook near you right like constantly draw uh, whatever is in your imagination and enhance your skill uh, for drawing like uh, there are a lot of online courses that can help you with drawing or learn painting it can be any medium like be kinesthetic like go ahead uh, if you if not drawing there's a lot of modeling that you can learn you like building stuff use your hands you like sculpture right visit museums uh, learn a new form of sculpture do you like working with stone do you like working with metal you like working with clay i mean there are so many opportunities out there that you can do and explore yes uh, being an architect you have to be curious um, so explore away uh, make things uh, talk to people right and uh, another thing would be an apprenticeship with an architect or an artist so that uh, you go to their studio and you learn right shadow and architect uh, see perhaps how they go about designing for a project also like observe as to how they go about managing the project right and also learn about how uh, they keep a structure safe right so these are some things that you can do during your high school year to not only enhance your profile to get into um, a, a school of architecture but to follow your passion right uh, learn about the different structures like question it right so whenever you visit a place on a vacation uh, with your family make it a point to go visit like historic monuments or structure right so it's a wonderful degree to pursue right and uh, so these are some of the things that a high school student can do like make use of your summers to build your portfolio to to align yourself in uh, the artistic field and uh, enhance your skills. So this is it. Uh, I hope you liked this uh, video. Uh, let me know if there is any other topic that you would like me to discuss. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my email list. Follow me on Instagram, Teen Successology, and my Facebook group, Pioneer Parents. Until then, bye now.